Once upon a time, there was a great kingdom ruled by a wise and just king. His name was Alexander, and he was loved by his people for his fairness and compassion. Alexander had inherited the throne from his father, who had been a ruthless and cruel ruler. Determined to be nothing like his father, Alexander worked tirelessly to improve the lives of his subjects. He built schools, hospitals, and public parks, and he lowered taxes to ease the burden on the common people. Under Alexander's leadership, the kingdom flourished. The people were happy, and the land was peaceful. But Alexander knew that his good fortune could not last forever. He knew that he would not live forever, and he worried about what would happen to his kingdom when he was gone. So Alexander began to search for a successor. He consulted with his advisors and held meetings with the nobles and the common people. He wanted to find someone who was wise and just, like him, someone who would continue to lead the kingdom in the right direction. After many months of searching, Alexander found the perfect candidate. His name was David, and he was a young man who had grown up in poverty. David had worked hard to educate himself, and he had a natural talent for leadership. Alexander was impressed by David's intelligence, his compassion, and his unwavering dedication to the people. Alexander decided to take David under his wing and teach him everything he knew about ruling a kingdom. He invited David to live in the palace and work alongside him, learning from his example. David was a quick learner, and he soon proved himself to be a valuable advisor to Alexander. He helped to draft new laws and policies, and he assisted with the day-to-day -day running of the kingdom. Alexander was pleased with David's progress, and he began to think of him as a son. As the years passed, Alexander grew old and weak. He knew that his time was coming to an end, and he wanted to make sure that David was ready to take over. So he called a meeting of the nobles and announced that David would be his successor. The nobles were shocked. They had always assumed that one of their own would inherit the throne, not a commoner like David. But Alexander was firm in his decision, and he explained that David was the best candidate for the job. David was nervous and overwhelmed by the news. He had never imagined that he would be a king, and he wasn't sure that he was ready for the responsibility. But Alexander assured him that he had faith in him, and that he would be there to guide him every step of the way. And so it was that when Alexander passed away, David became the new king. He was nervous at first, but he remembered all that Alexander had taught him, and he worked hard to live up to his mentor's legacy. David continued the good work that Alexander had begun. He built more schools and hospitals, and he created new programs to help the poor and disadvantaged. He was kind and just, and he always put the needs of his people first. Under David's leadership, the kingdom continued to thrive. The people were happy, and the land was peaceful. And when David grew old and weak, he too began to search for a successor, just as Alexander had done before him. And so the cycle continued, with wise and just kings passing down their knowledge and experience to the next generation. And the people of the kingdom lived happily ever after, knowing that their leaders would always be looking out for their best interests. Oh,